Hi, my name is Noor Elsa Mann, and I'd like to talk to you about women in Islam. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions about women in Islam, but the truth is that most of the converts nowadays are, in fact, women. And so I'd just like to talk to you about some of the rights and some of the women's rights and uh, uh, factors of liberation that exist in Islam. First of all, I'm going to start to you by talking about um, Eve. Okay. Now, um, Adam and Eve, of course, you know, they both ate from the tree, the forbidden tree that, um, that God warned them uh, not to eat from. And in the Christian, in the Christian tradition and uh, the, I'm not sure about the Jewish tradition, actually, but um. In the Christian tradition, um, Eve was blamed for giving the apple to Adam. So, um, so we have that, and because um, because of this sin, um, every baby is born with original sin. So every person is born with original sin in Christianity. Now, in Islam. Every baby is born pure, without sin. And I'll tell you why. Every person is responsible for his or, his or her own actions. And um, when Adam and Eve ate from the, the forbidden tree, which is the same story mentioned in Christianity as is in Islam, except it was Eve and Adam's sin. They both sinned. And they, it wasn't blamed on Eve either. So that's one of the things that I just thought I'd point out because, um, you know, I used to be uh, Catholic. So I, I actually know that um, is a difference. So um, that's the first thing. The second thing is. Um, in the Arab society, before Islam came, they used to bury female babies alive. We're talking bury them alive, okay? Um, I don't know of any other culture that I've heard that has done this, but um, when Islam came, it liberated women. And the in, in the Arab society, before Islam, people were ashamed to be um, when, when they were when uh, their babies were girls they were ashamed they wanted boys because they wanted boys to inherit um, their name and so Islam got rid of this uh, crazy um, you know ideology and um, you know so um, actually the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him um, he said that if you raise, um, if you raise up uh, two girls who who are pious and good, morally and uh, re religious girls, um, then uh, then you will be guaranteed paradise. So um, you know the concept where they say um, women are abused and all these things. This is totally not true. And we see that most of the converts are women. And there's a reason for that. It's not just because, oh, they're being brainwashed or something like that. No, because they are choosing this way of life, just as I have. I realized, you know, I didn't want to be walking down the street and, you know, be a piece of meat, you know, and just everybody look at me like that. You know, that's just not that's not respectable to a for a woman you know um, yeah so and also in Islam um, uh, there's a there's a saying uh, of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that says that a uh, paradise is under the feet of your mothers so basically if you want to go to paradise 
You'll make your mom happy, and you'll listen to her and treat her with great deal of respect. The another ha another saying of the Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, was um, <clears throat> one man came to to the Prophet sallallahu and he asked him, "O Prophet of God, um." Who is the most worthy of my companionship? And um, and and Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, um, "Your mother." He asked again, "Well, who's next?" And then the Prophet Muhammad said, "Your mother." And then the man asked him again, "Who's next?" And then the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "Your mother." And the man asked one more time, who's next? And then the prophet, he said, your father. So, we see here that your mother is put up more than your father. And that's for a reason. Because she, she was pregnant with you for nine months. She raised you up when you were young. She took care of you. She fed you. She clothed you. You know, spent so much time um, raising you up. So, um, this is just another fact. Let's see what else here. Oh, education. In Islam, men and women are required to... Uh, go and and have a good education even if it's to go as far as China um, so uh, women they are encouraged to go to school and it's something that is required of a father and of a husband to make sure that the women in the household are educated okay All right, I'm going to um, continue with the second part of the video.